What's going on, everybody? Mellow Watt, have a beer with your boy today, 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 today. We're trying something new. Something new. Something new. Yes, today we're trying something new. New beer company that I have never tried before. A new beer that I've never tried before, but it looked interesting. It had an interesting can, had an interesting looking title. So I said, what the hell? Let's look at it. Here we go, baby. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, this is called Oscar Oscar Blues Breweries Guns and Roses. Rose Ale. Looks interesting, right? Yeah, Guns and Roses. Like I hope y'all ain't doing no copyright infringement thing. Y'all y'all better work out a deal. But it looks nice. It look it look nice. You know what I'm saying? Got uh with hibiscus and prickly pears. So it might be a little fruit beer. You know, I'm trying the fruit stuff. See my hand shaking? Little fruit beers. Little fruit beers. Has 6% alcohol by volume. Right up my alley, man. Uh, it's got some nice stuff says on the can. It says, when in doubt, pinky out. Sure. Um, and um, don't believe the florist. I'm just reading you what's on the can. <laughs> but without further ado, man, let's get this cup. Let's crack this open. Sounds so good. Pull up. Mm. Look at you. Now, I'm going to tell you the truth. The last time I tried some stuff with the biscuits, I was not impressed with this. I wasn't impressed with the biscuits. I don't know what the selling point of the biscuits is, but uh, I don't know. It smells like beer. Like, it smells like, it's like, it's like it has a color to it. Like, it looks pretty much like a regular beer. Um, has a, has a decent smell to it. Like I said, it might have a bitter taste because it's so like high in alcohol. But what? Cheers. Okay, so uh, this is trying to taste like something, but it's like in my in my taste buds it failed. Like it tried to have this bitter fruit and mixed taste to it, and it's just not working because it tastes bad. It tastes like a lot's going on in the wrong ways. Um, like I said, it's bitter. Uh, it has a pretty. It, it, it came out strong, but then all the flavors just start hitting in all the wrong spots. I'm like, all right, you want to be a fruit beer? You want to be a bitter beer? Like, what do you want to do? What do you want to be? And it was all fighting. All fighting in the taste buds. Like, and I, I didn't like it. I don't like you fighting in my taste buds. I don't like it at all. But we're going to try it one more time. Hold on. Yeah, man. Oh god, I don't like it. I don't like it. And this is the second, maybe third beer that I've tried that like advertised a hibiscus, and hibiscus wasn't hitting. Me. I don't know. Maybe it's just, maybe I'm just not a hibiscus fan. Um, yeah, I'm like I said, I'm not a fan of this beer. Sorry, it just didn't taste right. Just didn't feel right. Just all around, just did not click in all the right cylinders. But, uh, you know what I mean? Somebody could tell me differently, man. So, uh, y'all let me know what you think. You know what I'm saying? What you, have you tried this beer? Have you heard of this place before? It's out of uh, Austin, Texas, and North Carolina, and Colorado. I forgot to mention all that. Like, that's where it's brewed at. That's where the brewing companies are at. But let me know what you think, man. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know if you tried it or not. Uh, do you have a... <laughs> say it, man. I'm gonna have to try this stuff again. You have a mellow day. And please drink responsibly. Stay mellow.